What's up everyone, I'm back with y'all another video. Now for this one, of course, I'm continuing my Hatchet review series. And for this one, of course, I'm reviewing Hatchet 3. Now, this film, like, this franchise, I'm enjoying it so far. Enjoyed the sec, enjoyed the first one. Enjoyed the, I enjoyed the second, I enjoyed the second one. And I enjoyed the third one. Now, the third one has some good, unique kills. But, the, but a lot of the characters are stupid. Like, a lot of these characters should know that you can't kill Victor Crowley. Like, they're shooting them. They're like... Like, you want to mention, like, freaking... Dumb characters in a horror movie. Try watching this. Like, try watching this film. Because they're shooting them a bunch of times until they run out of bullets. And then there's like, oh my god, oh my god. And they just stand there and get murdered. Like, a lot of the characters in this film are some of the dumbest characters I've seen in any horror movie. But yeah, Daniel Harris was good in it again. And I'm pretty sure she's dead, but the spoiler alert, she pretty much dies at the end. So, yeah, like, what the hell, right? But but this film has some good, unique kills. Some of the characters are likable, and some of the characters are dog shit in this film. Um, Yeah, like, I might not like this as much as the second film, but it's damn close to being as good as the second film but yeah um i enjoyed this film um the ending was pretty damn good um but they make you like daniel harris's character in the second film and then they kill her off at the end of the third film i don't get it but i enjoyed this film nonetheless i enjoyed it um there's some funny moments that i chuckled at um so yeah, this film is not the best slasher film of all time, but Vic Victor Crowley is one of these days he's going to be up on par with the best horror icons because um because he's just an iconic type of character, you know? He reminds me of Jason Voorhees a lot. Um Victor Crowley and in the future I can pretty much see him being a big horror icon. And I cannot wait to check out the fourth film. I just watched the trailer for it because I watched the trailer on, before I watch any movie I haven't watched yet to get me more excited for it. But yeah, I watched the trailer for the fourth film and it looks pretty damn decent. Um, and I cannot wait to check out that film to end that review series and I'm possibly going to rank them all. Um, let's see which ones land last and which ones are the best. So yeah, I enjoyed this film. Um, I enjoyed it. You know, it's a, it's a, like, I like the second one just a tiny bit better. Just a tiny bit better. So, yeah, this film, pretty damn good. If I had to rate this movie, I would probably give it a 7.8 out of 10. I would probably give this movie a 7.8 out of 10. So, yeah, um, I enjoyed it. I think it's better than the first one, but it's not better than the second one. Because I enjoyed the second one the best the second was the best so far and um so yeah but this film 
was pretty damn good. I'd probably watch it again. I'd probably watch it again. So yeah, it's a 7.8 out of 10 for me. So you let you so yeah, let me know in the comments below. What did y'all think of Hatchet 3? Do you love it? Do you hate it? I would like to hear y'all's thoughts down below. So yeah, I guess that's it for this video. If y'all enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, please subscribe and share. Also hit the bell so you know when a new video is uploaded. Peace out. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. And I guess I'm out. Peace.